Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to measure the dipole antenna in azimuth plan and evaluation plan. Okay, the pattern in polar form. So in simulation, you will have something like this. Okay, let's say this is the dipole antenna. Okay, so you can view this dipole antenna here and we can check on the far field. So the radiation pattern if the in elevation mode will be something like this, same as the theory here. Okay, and the azimuth mode will be we fix with the constant with the theta so you will see a circle here is like omnidirection okay so you will have this one so in this video i will show you how to measure these two and let's say the dipole in 3d will be something like this so if we cut it half there will be something like like the duration okay so let's say i complete it there will be actually it's like a donut shape Okay, so if we view in here, if we cut half here, there will be like the azimuth. So it's a round shape, something like this. Okay, so how to measure the radiation pattern uh, for polar? So I will use the training kit, Dreamcatcher training kit. So in my lab will be something like this, I will set up. So I have a TS transmitter, so connected with the signal generator. Okay, so the signal generator is like sending the signal to the transmitter to the antenna and the antenna will radiate to the receiver here and the receiver here will receive the signal and convert it to data to my PC so I will show you the setup the setup will be something like this signal generator the RF out to the RF in in the transmitter mod module and to the antenna here and the antenna will transmit to the receiver here the receiver signal will from RF out to the RF in to the RX module and convert the data to USB to my PC okay so we will use this software to monitor the signal level that received from the receiver okay this is the dream feature software it's like Repat 4.2 okay so I'm going to use the Agilent N9310RF output okay, to control the signal gen in my lab. So it will be something like here. Okay, I will con control this signal generator to send the signal to the transmitter here. So I know that my antenna is 915 MHz. So I will set it. So we're going to show the concept is like it's working. Okay, so something like this. So let's say we check about the signal power now. So let's say I turn on my RF power output here. Okay, we can see the signal level from the red pad. Okay, Dreamcatcher is going up to negative 13.59. Wow, this is good. Okay, so from here and here they have lost like negative 13.59. Okay, so we can show it like another concept is like, okay, so let me prove it. Let's say I put it negative 10. So it should be negative 23. So let me enter then now it's set should be negative 23 something okay so it's nearby okay so now we have uh, make sure the signal generator be able to control so we also can like make it like 20 so it will be like 35 maybe so the signal is become 35 okay so let's us change back to zero okay so done, done, we have the amplitude in zero, so they will go back to like negative 13.59 like that. Okay, so now we can like setting the training kit. So once when we do the setting, we can just like connect the COM port. Okay, the connection will be here. Oh, okay. So the COM port and just choose the RF detector and then save. Okay, if you're using VNA, you just choose on VNA. So save it. Then there will be homing. When they're homing, then we can see from here is like okay. I will show you again. Let's say I click it, then when I save, okay, when they homing, so you can see it's like rotating. Okay, so they will go back to zero position, zero degree position. Okay, now let's start to measure. So I made it like 30 degree here. Okay, 30 degree that means uh my antenna here will rotate 30 degree until 330 that means from the zero position degree until 360 okay actually they, ha they are not 360 here because zero degree is 360 okay so we are measuring this now is like horizontal with horizontal so you can see the measurement setup will be something like the polarization will be uh, 
horizontal and width horizontal. So I will rotate the receiver now. Okay, then we should get the result is something like this. Yeah, I will explain later why we will get the result is like two direction. Okay, so actually we will get something like like this. Okay, so let's start. So red pad is here and then our ready our camera. Red pad is here. So let's start it and then we can view the rotation. So when I click, you can choose this Cartesian or Polar, but we I click on start, run. Okay, then we view on our camera here. So you can see it start rotating 30 degree until 330. Okay, so you can see the receiver is start moving. done right they will rotate back until zero degree position okay so they will return to zero degree position okay then we can check our result in our red pad okay so done so we open our red pad here so you can see like this is in Cartesian mode okay so we can click on polar okay so you can see we have the result like the two direction okay so it's elevation from the theory part here is we get this one elevation plan for dipole so is follow the simulation is this one okay so how are we going to measure for the azimuth so the azimuth will be something like this we need to change the direction of the dipole to this direction vertical and receiver we also can change to the vertical okay so when we turn right okay when we rotate our vertical so there doesn't affect so there will be like as a mute is like omnidirection so you can say it's like in 3d you can view it clearly so let's say in 3d it will be something like this so let's say I put my antenna now is like vertical like this. Okay. So it's something like this vertical. It's same as the setup here. Vertical. Okay. So when I rotate my antenna, it doesn't matter. You know why? Because here, let's say our 3D, no matter how I rotate, the signal is still radiating. Okay, because I'm omnidirection. That's why you will have your polar is omnidirection like this. Okay, when my dipole is in this direction, okay, is in horizontal, uh, I mean like this, okay. So when I rotate my antenna, okay, 360, so I can get the signal, let's say my transmitter is from here, so I can receive my signal is here. When I rotate to this side, I won't get any signal here, okay. So that's why we have something dropping here because we can think get any signal so and then another time when we rotate another 360 here 180 here then we doesn't get any signal that's why we have true drop signal here okay this is why we have like two direction antenna okay if you put it in horizontal like this okay so the horizontal will be something like this okay that's why you will have The radiation pattern in elevation will be something like this. Okay, so next we go for like theta. So we're going to measure the azimuth plan for the dipole. So we're going to change the antenna to vertical. Okay, so first we're going to change this to vertical. So now our antenna is in vertical. So we can see from here, we're going to do the setting is two vertical then we rotate the receiver then we're going to get this result in theory okay so we will have something like this 
all right so let's start also like same 30 degree you can set it to 15 or uh, 5 degree is fine but we make it fast so we make it like 30 so we have few steps now our receiver is signal level will be like negative 16.39 so to make sure our signal generator still function so let's do it let's say we make it like negative 10 enter so it should be like negative 26 or 27 so we get 27 okay so we make it back to zero so we will get negative 16 okay so i think wait for a while okay done then let's start just click on start then we can view from the camera okay so now the camera is uh, so now the radiation is rotating the receiver part so you can see it's like vertical rotating and then should be omnidirectional Okay, once done, they were back, return back to zero position, okay, zero degree. So we can check on our red pad. We can check the result and you can see the red color line here is omni direction. This looks like it's near to omni direction, okay. So you can view from the result from the simulation. It's something like this. So if we can combine the two drawing, the two polar form as well. So let's say I copy. And then I paste it somewhere here in 1D. Okay, radiation pattern. Okay, paste it. And then I can copy another one. I can make it like elevation. Okay, so just now we have copied the azimuth. So now it's elevation. So I can just like right click and I can control C. And then I can copy the radiation to here, paste it. So you can see we have like omnidirection for the azimuth plane and the elevation like two directional. Okay, so you can view in the red pad measurement. Yeah, we have something like this. Yeah, sometimes the result is not that ideal because um you can see from here. Yeah, they have something like maybe disturb or when they rotate to behind, maybe this thing is blocking the signal okay so that's why they have the low signal here okay compare with this side that's why it's not that so omni but dipole antenna is the omnidirectional antenna okay so now we have proven that the how to measure the radiation pattern for dipole antenna and other antenna they are using the same method okay we just need to know that our antenna as a mute plan and the evaluation plan okay and then we check on our polarization okay and then just make sure our measurement set up okay then it will be done okay so thank you guys that's all for the how to measure your polar form radiation pattern okay thanks